So we will go ahead and call this session the Jackson County Board of Education in order. As uh, we typically do, we're going to take the first few moments to, uh, to think about the things that are going on in our system, our state, our county, our nation. And uh, we will uh, take, take prayer for that or silent reflection, whatever you, you choose to do. Uh, but we have lots of things going on. We've got lots of movement this spring. So, uh, we lost two good men this past week. And Troy Ferguson, ran a lot of ball games in the school system, graduate. And Wallace Tater Phillips, who was custodian at North Jackson. Both are characters. Good guys. <laughs> Real good, good guys. Good guys. So remember, they're families, too, as, as we go into this moment. So if you'll bow with me, please. Thank you. <clears throat> First, we have uh, our agenda that we have to consider. So, uh, do we have a motion to approve this agenda? I make that motion. All right. Might make some motions. There a second. I'll second that. Any discussion about the agenda? And we'll vote to approve the agenda, Mr. West. Yes. Mr. Matthews. Yes. Dr. Guest. Yes. Mr. Gant. Yes. Myself. Yes. So. This agenda is approved. Under general business, consider a motion to, for any corrections, additions, or deletions to the January 23rd, 19 work session minutes and the January 24th, 2019 board uh, meeting minutes, as well as the January 31st, 2019 board meeting minutes. I'll make that motion. Okay. Mr. Matthews makes a motion. Is there a second? I'll second that. Is there any discussion on the minutes? No discussion. We'll vote to approve those, Mr. West. Yes. Mr. Matthews. Yes. Dr. Guess. Yes. Mr. Gant. Yes. Myself is yes. That motion carries. And those have been approved. B. Consider a motion to approve the financial statements for January 2019. Uh, those are attached. The total payroll expenditures: three million six hundred ninety-nine thousand eight hundred sixty-five dollars and four cents. And the total non-payroll expenditures. One million thirty-six thousand thirty-seven dollars and twenty-six cents. I make a motion to approve those. Is there a second? A second. Mr. Matthew seconds that. Any discussion? Anybody ever questions whether school systems have an economic impact? Look at that three million some odd dollars in payroll expenditures. Um, we'll move to approve this, Mr. West. Yes. Mr. Matthews. Yes. Dr. Guest. Yes. Mr. Gant. Yes. Myself is yes, and those financials have been approved. Uh, consider a motion to revise the 2019 school calendar, and it is a we we have a copy of that there. Mr. Dukes, before we move on, I want you to kind of explain. Because we, we did approve the calendar and then... And we had approved the calendar with 177 student days, 184 teacher days. But um, Dr. Mackey came out with a memo shortly thereafter that recommended 180 student days and absolutely 187 employee days. So we thought it was best just to go ahead and get that. And what we did is we added two student teacher days two regular school days, the first two days of the week of Thanksgiving on that Monday and Tuesday. And then we had a half a day PD in February, I believe it was, and a half a day PD in April. And we made one all day PD and the other one all day teacher student day. So that gives us 180 and 187. Okay. And that is going to change the length of the school day. And the, and the school day we are looking at right now, um, I talked to the principals the other day, will be 745 to 251 is what we're looking at right now. Monday through Friday, five days a week. No no early dismissal next year. Right. Now I think that Mr. Duke sent that email you said that you know with some of the feeder schools if they had to adjust the time a little bit with the bus I, and that's I, I spoke with the principals last Tuesday and a couple of them came up and we're looking looking through out. kinks, what we can do to make that work. Perfect. Perfect. Or adjust. Okay. So typically, 
uh, calendars have to lay on the on the table 30 days once we present a new calendar. But but as a board, we can vote to suspend the rules to approve this uh, at this meeting. And uh, I'd actually like to uh, like to do that. I'd like to make a motion to to suspend the rules so that we can move move on this. So um, if there's no object objections, we'll we'll consider a second to that motion to suspend the rules. All right, there's a motion to suspend the rules that I made. Mr. Gant seconded that. Uh, if there's no discussion, then we'll um, vote to approve to suspend these rules for this item. Uh, Mr. West? Yes. Mr. Matthews? Yes. Uh, Mr. Gant? Yes. Dr. Guess? Yes. Myself? Is yes. So we have uh, made a motion and it has been approved to suspend the rules and then we'll now consider uh, item C, which is Consider a motion to revise the 2019-2020 school calendar. I make that move. Mr. Gant makes a motion to approve this new calendar. Is there a second? I second. Mr. Matthews seconds that. Uh, any discussion <clears throat> other than what Mr. Dukes has provided to us from uh, Mr. Mackey, Dr. Mackey? There's no other discussion on that, so we'll uh, we'll move to vote on this. Mr. West? Yes. Mr. Matthews? Yes. Dr. Guess? Yes. Mr. Gant? Yes. Myself is a yes. So uh, this is this motion carries and the new revised calendar has been approved. Uh, item D consider a motion to approve the purchase in the amount of four hundred and forty six thousand to Forsyth Building Company for an HVAC unit at Section High School Gymnasium. I make that motion. Mr. Matthews makes the motion. Is there a second? Second. Dr. Guess seconds that. Is there any discussion? No discussion. Then we'll move to vote. Mr. West? Yes. Mr. Matthews? Yes. Dr. Guess? Yes. Mr. Gant? Yes. Myself is yes. That motion carries. Uh, e, consider a motion to approve the purchase in the amount of $15,378.50 to Fleet Pride Incorporated for vehicle parts. <clears throat> I'll make that motion. Is there a second? Second. Mr. Gant seconds that. Any discussion? Uh, these will be used out of the out of the bus garage, I'm, I'm certain. Uh, but we'll move vote. Mr. West? Yes. Mr. Matthews? Yes. Dr. Guess? Yes. Mr. Gant? Yes. Myself is yes, that motion carries. F, consider a motion to approve the purchase in the amount of $17,600 to Mr. Reuter Plumbing for pump lift station operations for North Jackson High School. I make that motion. Uh, Mr. Matthews makes a motion. Is there a second? Second. I guess seconds that. Is there any discussion? What is a pump lift station operation? What is that? Um, Is it, is it installed? I'm not sure. I've been checked this week to see if it's installed. Do you know? Yeah, just pump lift station. So I think it's. I think it must be pump outs for for that project. Must be what now? Pump outs. I think for that project. That wouldn't. We hadn't already voted on that. Well, we had to do them individually. I think when they come in, and right. because of, and because that one's fifteen thousand dollars, we have to vote on it. Fifteen thousand dollars. I visited that uh, <coughs> site last Friday. It was about three o'clock, I guess. Uh, nobody was there, but at least I got to see where it was. Time I've been up there, it's looked like a pond. Yeah. I mean, it's just a big hole. I mean, full of water. Okay. Full of water. Same way, Mr. Yeah, on Friday, was it? Yeah. Well, not finish with it. Yeah. Hopefully, they'll be able to finish that project soon. Are they still pumping that out up there? Uh, well. that out up there? If it's not finished, they're having to, yes. Any anticipation on when it'd be finished? If we had had dry weather, it'd have been finished two or three weeks ago. I think it's all, the, yeah, all like the today is what's holding us back. So, uh, Mr. Jeeks, will you will you check with them and see what 
I know what the answer is going to be. As soon as it gets dry, they can they can do it. But right. That way, we'll have, have some kind of an official word. Um, then we'll mo a vote to approve these uh, expenditures, Mr. West. Yes. Mr. Matthews. Yes. Dr. Guest. Yes. Mr. Gant. Yes. Myself is yes. That motion carries. G consider a motion to approve the following overnight trips. Um, it's okay, we'll, we'll take all eight of these. I'm just going to read through them quickly. Uh, Epcot hosting <coughs> for a competition in February. Pisgah fishing team to a fishing tournament in Alexander City. It was in February. Uh, Pisgah fishing team to attend a tournament in Eufaula in March. Pisgah fishing team to attend a tournament in Center uh, in April. North Jackson basketball to attend team <coughs> camp at Jacksonville State in June. North Jackson basketball to attend team camp at Middle Tennessee State in June. North Jackson basketball to attend team camp in Birmingham Southern June in June as well. Uh, and North Jackson basketball to attend team camp Tennessee Tech in June. So North Jackson basketball has gotten on the stick and got their stuff in. So, so if it's okay, we'll take all these in, in one motion. Is everybody good with that? There's yes. no limit now on how many camps mm -hmm. you basketball team can go to. I think you, you have so many play dates and yeah, it's play dates you can break them up. So you could probably have, I don't know what the limit is, 20 play dates? No, I don't know exactly, but it, it, there but is a could, number on it, yeah. But you could travel every time. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So it's good with everybody. We're, we're going to take these uh, these trips in, in one motion. We have a motion to we'll approve those trips. Mr. Gant moves to approve these these trips. Is there a second? I second. Mr. Matthew seconds that. Any discussion? We'll move to vote. Mr. West? Yes. Mr. Matthews? Yes. Mr. Guest? <coughs> yes. Mr. Gant? Yes. Myself is yes. That motion carries. <clears throat> Under personnel actions, consider a motion to approve the leave of absence for Megan Wright, teacher at Stevenson Elementary School, effective February the 25th. 2019 through May the 24th, 2019. I'll make that motion. I'll make that motion. Is there a second? I'll second that. Is there any discussion? Move up, Mr. West. Yes. Mr. Matthews. Yes. Dr. Guest. Yes. Mr. Gant. Yes. Myself is yes. That motion carries. B, consider a motion to approve family medical leave for Shannon Harris, child nutrition worker at Woodville High School, effective January the 14th. I'll make that motion. Is there a second? Second. She can't second that. Any discussion? Move up, Mr. West. Yes. Mr. Matthews. Yes. Dr. Guess. Yes. Mr. Gant. Yes. Myself. Yes. That motion carries. <clears throat> Under employee, consider a motion to employ Kelsey Robertson as a countywide instructional aide, effective February the 11th. I'll make that motion. Right, Mr. Matthews makes motion. Is there a second? Second. I guess seconds that. Any discussion? We'll vote, Mr. West. Yes. Mr. Matthews. Yes. I guess. Yes. Mr. Gant. Yes. Myself is yes. That motion carries. B. Consider motion to approve <coughs> Jessica Hollander as a countywide instructional aide effective February the 11th. I move we approve. All right. Mr. Gant makes a motion to approve that. Is there a second? I'll second. Mr. Matthews seconds that motion. Any discussion? We we'll move to vote, Mr. West. Yes. Mr. Matthews. Yes. Dr. Guess. Yes. Mr. Gant. Yes. And myself. Yes. That motion carries. Uh, under contracts, consider a motion to approve the contract between Jackson County Board of Education and Rhonda Bynum providing nursing duties <coughs> for extracurricular activities at Bridgeport Middle School. I'll make that motion. All right. Mr. Matthews makes that motion. Is there a second? Second. I guess makes a second. Is there any discussion? This is. What we voted on last month, substitutes for after school if, if needed. Yeah. And this is going to, <clears throat> Mr. Dukes, with that statement, that's going to also going to cover the next. It's going to cover A, B, C. A, B, C? A, B, and C, yes. Okay. So that's going to be after school. After school program and subs, basically for the next three motions. So that's in the after school program. Does that come out in the 
the extracurricular activities. I don't think this is after okay. after school program. Extracurricular activities, activities, not the after school okay. program. Okay. After school activities. I had a misstep on that. I guess I'm glad you caught it. Okay. So we have a motion and a second, and we've had some explanations. So now we'll move for a vote, Mr. West. Yes. Mr. Matthews. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Mr. Dent. Yeah. Myself is yes. That motion carries. Uh, B. Consider a motion to approve a contract between Jackson County Board of Education and Shelley Jenkins providing nursing duties for extracurricular activities at Bridgeport Middle School. I'll make that motion. Mr. Matthews makes a motion. Is there a second? Second. Uh, I guess seconds that. Uh, any discussion other than what we've already been told? We'll move to vote. Mr. West? Yes. Mr. Matthews? Yes. 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 Mr. Gant? Yes. Myself is yes. That motion carries. <clears throat> C. Consider a motion to approve the contract between Jackson County Board of Education and Tina Wade providing nursing duties for extracurricular activities at Bridgeport Middle School. I'll make that motion. All right. All right. Make some motions. Is there a second? Second. Mr. Gant seconds that. Any discussion? We'll move to vote on that. Mr. West? Yes. Mr. Matthews? Yes. Uh, yes? Yes. Mr. Gant? Yes. Myself says yes, that motion carries. <clears throat> Under coaching A, consider a motion to approve Kelsey Draper as an assistant track coach at Pisgah High School. I make the move that we accept Kelsey. All right, Mr. Gant makes a motion. Is there a second? I'll second. Mr. Matthews seconds that. Any discussion? I'm sure that Kelsey will have all of her, all of her stuff in line for her. Okay. Uh, Mr. West? Yes. Mr. Matthews? Yes. 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 Mr. Gant? Yes. Myself is yes. That motion carries. B. Consider a motion to approve the resignation of Ryan Buckner as an assistant coach at North Jackson High School effective February the 8th. I'll make that motion. I'll second that motion. Is there any discussion? Is he a teacher? No. No. Okay. Just a coach. Thank uh, you, Mr. Matthews. Yes, sir. <laughs> Mr. West? Yes. Mr. Matthews? Yes. Dr. Guess? Yes. Mr. Gant? Yes. And myself says yes, that motion carries. C, consider a motion to accept the resignation of Bradley Wilson as an assistant track, assistant track coach. Pisgah for the 2018-2019 school year. I'll make that motion. Mr. Matthews makes the motion. Is there a second? Second. Mr. Gant seconds that. Uh, any discussion? We'll vote. Mr. West? Yes. Mr. Matthews? Yes. Dr. Yes? Yes. Mr. Gant? Yes. And myself is a yes, so that motion carries. Uh, Mr. Duke, announcements? Do you want to say anything about our. Woodville boys, Skyline boys, and North Sand Mountain boys play basketball tonight to see if they advance. If they lose, they your season's over. If they win, they advance. Last night, um, Skyline girls and Pisco girls won. Skyline girls. We'll play Thursday, the time's not set yet. Pisgah girls will play Monday, the time's not set yet. So the same thing with these other folks. We won't know actually until I think after tonight's over is when they'll set the times for everybody. But go out and support our local teams if you get a chance. Mr. Davis, will you, will you forward us an email on, on those game days? Thank you. That will be good. Um, and then uh, we, and we are not dismissing school for these ball games. So. Not dismissing school. So no sense in asking. I've already told the principals that we will not be dismissing. Okay. Um, do we want to look at our meeting time for March? Go ahead and do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Calendar open Twenty eighth spring, spring break. break. Then the week before that, I'll be out of town. You're out of town on the twenty first. The eighteenth or twenty first. Yes. Spring break starts when? Twenty fifth. Well, we can uh, do the 14th. We want to do um, 
a work session on 13th and meeting on the 14th? I can't be here that week. You're out that week. Okay. Um, so we either meet on spring break week or that pushes it back into uh, March. I mean, I'm sorry, April, first week of April. Got anything that has to come up? Contracts or anything in March? Hmm. Derek has a few rate contract come up before March 27th. <clears throat> so before March 27th? No, I think I'm gone. Okay. So, Dr. Guess, you said that you're gone the 8th through the 13th. That uh, week. Well, the second week of March. Second full oh, week I'm of sorry, March. I'm looking at the zone. So, can you do it on the 26th that morning? I, I can do it any. I can do it any time that way. Usually, I don't like doing mornings, but if we're gonna do it, yeah, be, be, be sure you get a rainy morning. <laughs> I guess you'll be back on the week of spring break here. The tw the week of the twenty fifth. Yes, I'll be here. Uh, <laughs> Kevin, you gonna be in town? As far as I know. Okay. So, the morning of the twenty sixth. Is that okay? The 26th? Yeah. During spring break? Yeah. You're not going to be on the beach, are you? Well, huh? I won't be, but school will be out then. It may be on vacation. We have to beg for forgiveness. Because if we're doing it the 26th, we could, it wouldn't hurt just to wait another week. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to do it during spring break. May not put it in April, well, but that everybody be here. But Derek's contract. Oh, Derek's contract. Okay. Now we can. Huh? We can. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. We can. Uh, what about the week of the tenth? <coughs> does that give you enough time to do any paperwork you need to do? Week, and then the other weeks here in the state. Yeah. Long yeah. Long. Okay. Could we? I don't know what else you'll have that needs to go on, but we could, I guess we could meet March on it. I'll be gone. March 8th, right. Friday morning. Because that may be the only thing we have. Yeah. Friday morning, the 8th. What the? 8 o'clock, I guess, since it's Friday. In the morning. <coughs> yes, sir. Okay. 3 8 at 8. <coughs> yeah. Does that give you time, Derek? Um, and I mean, we can we can meet one short. We can meet one member short if we need to. So, tell us, tell me, tell me what's going to be best. Okay. So the whole thing is, is with E rate, I have to post depending on depending on how we decide to do. Uh, it has to be posted for 28 days, and then the bid approved, or it's posted for two weeks and the bid approved, depending on which way we go. So that's if, if we do the 28 day one, it's going to be closer to the last week. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mr. Dukes, you're going to be gone. You said the 18th. 3:21st. I'll be back 22nd probably. 22nd. <coughs> Morning of the twenty second. Can you do morning of the twenty second? Mm -hmm. Eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. Probably will be yep. a short agenda, most likely. Uh, so let's rather than doing morning of the eighth, let's do let's do eight o'clock three twenty two. That will help you right there. So that meeting day we're looking at is March 22nd. 22nd, yes, it's Friday morning. Yeah, right. 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock, yes, yes, sir. Um, okay. All right. 
any other announcements? Then we will entertain a motion to adjourn. I move to adjourn. Okay, Make a motion to adjourn. Is there a second? A second. Matthew seconds. Any discussion? Not usually discussion on that one. Then vote to adjourn, Mr. West. Yes. Mr. Matthews. Yes. Got a guess? Yes. Mr. Gant. Yes. Myself. Yes. So we are now adjourned. Thank you.